Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you happen to be. This is Super Sellers, the twice weekly video where we count down the best selling cards from the last few days. And there was a lot of action over the weekend, so we're getting right into it. Champion of Wits slipped a little from Friday's Super Sellers, but it's still holding strong. The slip in Champion of Wits' rank is likely due to the ascent of Mono Red in the early stages of Hour of Devastation standard. Once the format normalizes a little bit back towards mid range, Champion of Wits' sales will recover. Mirage Mirror also slipped a little bit, but that doesn't really mean a thing. The card is still great, and its desirability in casual formats make it a strong investment, something that'll keep value or slowly climb for a while. Be wary though, Mirage Mirror is exactly the kind of card they like to reprint in Commander decks. Still though, who doesn't want to say they have an original Mirage Mirror from Hour of Devastation, am I right? The mono red deck in standard is for real, thanks in large part to Ramanap Ruins. In 2017, mono red decks are capable of dealing 20 damage with just their mana base. Barbarian Ring never had it this good. The only two basic lands to make the top 10 this week are Swamp and Mountain, likely because two of standard's best aggressive decks require either a lot of mountains or a lot of swamps. That simple. Supreme Will finally takes a little bit of a dive in the rankings, but it's still holding strong in the top 10. Mono Red's ascendance in standard has had a huge ripple effect, and the fact of the matter is that Supreme Will isn't very mana efficient when it's up against a deck with a lot of two drops. Blue decks will still want it, but for the time being, blue decks are being pushed out of the spotlight. And Earthshaker Kenra is one of the cards doing the pushing. This card is fantastic and is going to prove to be a total menace in standard. There's an argument to be made that the mono red deck couldn't exist without Earthshaker Kenra. The big news over the weekend is that a God Pharaoh's Gift deck surfaced, featuring Gate to the Afterlife to power out God Pharaoh's Gift, alongside strategic planning to get the self mill going, and Cataclysmic Gear Hulk as a spicy God Pharaoh's Gift target. When all the decks in standard are trying to flood the board to deal with Earthshaker Kenra, Cataclysmic Gear Hulk really shines. Angel of Invention also showed up in the God Pharaoh's Gift deck. Before that, it was a little piece of sideboard tech for the White Blue Monument deck, but this week, it's getting recurred with God Pharaoh's Gift for big damage. Angel of Invention and Cataclysmic Gear Hulk are both relatively inexpensive mythic rares, so it's unsurprising to see players load up on these two cards. I'm calling it right now. A braid will be near the top of this list all the way until Ixalan is released. It's efficient, it's better than Harness Lightning in certain spots, and it's new, which means players don't already have it yet. And our best seller this week is God Pharaoh's Gift. This deck won an online Pro Tour qualifier over the weekend. I would be scared to play God Pharaoh's Gift with all the abrades floating around, but apparently the deck can stand up to main deck artifact removal. I want to say this is a flash in the pan, but man, it won! It won in the face of all those abrades, and there is a lot of sweet stuff going on in this deck, and it's cheap for now. I have no doubt that Cataclysmic Gear Hulk and Angel of Invention will experience a slight price spike, but once their prices stabilize, I'll probably pick up this deck and see how it runs for myself. It looks like a blast. Milling yourself feels weird at first, but it's a good time, I promise. Well, that's all we got this week. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoyed this, and if you didn't, let us know why. We read all the comments always, all the time, so if you saw or heard something you didn't like, let us know. Or, you know, if you like this and you want to see more of it, you, let us know that too. We love the shoutouts. See you Friday.